Hey guys, welcome to TST Garage. I'm Bart. In this episode, I have a CF Moto 450SS with me. As you can see, we've removed the OEM fender and the lighting that comes mounted on it and replaced it with a TST Industries fender eliminator. Here, we have our own signal lamps installed on here. And what happened was we got a weird hyper flash situation only manifesting itself after the bike's turned on and ridden down the road. When I just turn it on on battery without starting, the OEM really does a fine job of steering the flash rate at 85 cycles per minute. But as we've noticed, you ride it any length of time and it will present with a slightly different flash rate. Sometimes it'll go flash, flash, turn on, flash, flash, turn on, or it'll just fast flash. So you really don't want that when you're riding around the streets. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the TST Industries Gen 2 flasher relay on this bike. It's very easy. The relay itself is a direct connect plug and play component. It plugs right in, it hangs in the same fashion as the OEM relay. And as an added bonus, it is adjustable. If you don't like the 85 cycle per minute flash rate that we've preset it with delivered to you, slip off this cap, adjust it a little bit to your liking, and then off you go. All right, let's get started by ditching the seats. I'm gonna remove the passenger seat first. That's very easy with the key. Then we're gonna get into some screw turning for the front seat and the rest of the components. We're gonna pull back on the rear portion of the seat, exposing the five millimeter Allen fastener. We are going to remove this on the right side and left side of the seat. I like to leave them captive in here for easier reassembly. And then once this is up and out of the way, we can already see the relay here. This is the OEM relay. If we unplug it by pressing down on the lock and pulling back on the white plug, now we can plug our new relay in, but first we'll need to get the old relay out of there. This is a little easier if you remove all of these components, but that's a lot of extra steps. And I think we're looking for the most minimally invasive procedure here that we could figure out. So you can basically just push up on that relay until it clears its rubber keeper. It hangs in this orientation. This tab slides into this rubber keeper here. So we need to figure out how to get that done with our new relay. Let's plug this in first, test it out, see if the 85 cycles per minute is pleasing to the eye. This is good to go here. If you do choose to open it up and adjust it, this is how it's done. If I can, I like to leave it connected with the bike power down. We are exposing some electronics. Let's remove the gray cover. Sometimes the gray cover will come off with the internal components, which is the circuit. You wanna scavenge that, take that out, plug it back in the way we had that plugged in. And now before powering up the bike, let's make sure that we don't touch any of these components with our hands when it's powered up and also don't touch any of that to the ground that can short and blow up the circuit. You don't want that. Little, little Phillips screwdriver on this dial will adjust it faster or slower. Let's power up and get our tool in position while we have signaling Turning clockwise, slows it down. Counterclockwise, speeds it up. We have sequential signals on this particular motorcycle. With the relay fully sped up, it doesn't even complete its sequence. So please be sensitive to that if you have sequential signals. And then just adjust to your flash rate of liking. I like it right there. Power down. Replace the gray cover. Now the cover itself has a little channel here. 
that houses the circuit board. So make sure you choose the appropriate orientation here. Once you get that down in here, it makes a little audible snap and then you're good to go. So on this component, we could either try to feed it through that small channel in the rubber boot where the OEM relay came out of, or we could sit it right on top, key being we have to engage this tab into this little window of the keeper. Now it's gonna be a tight fit in there, so I'm gonna get myself prepped here by bending back on the tab just a little bit. Make it easier for me to get that targeted into the slot. Once it's engaged all the way, make sure that the connector is still plugged in. Give it a quick test before we close everything up. We are flashing at the right rate. Now we just go into reverse order of disassembly. All right, that's the whole job. I hope you found this informative and easy to perform. If you have been afflicted by a crazy flash situation on your CF Moto bike, this relay will be your solution. Thank you for watching. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I like to hear comments. Please drop me a comment below in the feed. And that's about it. Thank you for watching again. Ride safe, see you later.